Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem forty-five in chapter twenty-two. Chapter twenty-two is about Gaussian's rule. We can see we have two thin flat, right? And then the side length is one meter, and they are separated by the distance d. This is a five millimeter, and we know they carry opposite charge. Um, positive phi, negative phi. The phi is uh, fifteen microcoulomb. First one, we need to find the total force acted by one plant on another. So that means we know the electric force can be write as the charge times the field length, right? So we can consider this one. We find the force act on the right 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 plants. So we need to find the electric field density between them. So this electric, uh, we need to find the electric field density comes from the left part, right? So come from the left part, it tell us we consider it as the infinity, infinity plants. So for infinity plants at one side, this uh, electric field is, field density is a phi divided by two epsilon naught. This is from our textbook. You can check it. Now we look at the charge carried by the right plants. That is the charge density, phi times the surface. Right, this is surface charge density times the surface. Surface is L squared, so phi times L squared. In this case, we can find the electric force is the charge times the electric field and left. So we input the electric field and the charge inside. We can get the answer. We can write his answer look like this one. Agree? Yes. The next one ask you how much work would it be required to move the plants from the five millimeter to one centimeter? So that means the delta d, the distance it changed is a five millimeters. Use the one centimeter minus the five millimeter equals to this one, right? As we know, the work done by the force is a force times the distance it moved, and also cosine theta. In this case, theta is zero, so we can have have the phi force times the distance it moved. So sorry, there is delta d, and then we input the function for the force times the delta d, and input all the quantity. We get the answer there. Thank you.